All right, so let's do tips and taxes. I'm gonna start with tips, tipping. I'm sure you guys already know how to do that, but let's say you go to, to, to a restaurant and your dinner costs $100. You and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your whatever, it costs $100. Um, and you wanna tip 20%. I'm sure this is very easy for you to do because you've done it multiple times, right? So let's just say, I'll show you my method and then I'm gonna use the same method that I introduced at the end of my last video with discounts. So all of a sudden I'm popular. I don't wanna be all loud. Okay, <laughs> so all right. So if I am tipping, I'm adding on to the original amount, correct? So 100%, if I paid 100% of the bill, that means I'm paying $100. Okay, if I'm paying 100%, of the amount, that means I'm paying $100, right? But I'm adding a tip to it. So I'm adding a 20%. So I'm actually paying 120% of this, you know, dinner, 120%. So I'm paying 120% of $100. Now it's greater than a hundred because I'm adding on to, right? It's tipping, it's on top of the original. I'm not discounting, I'm taking away. I'm adding on to. All right, well, how much am I paying? Well, let's do the same method that we did before. I would convert this into a decimal, which means I would move the decimal two digits to the left, two places to the right, which would be a 1.2. And anytime you talk about a percentage that is greater than 100%, when it's converted into decimal form, it should be a number greater than one. I'm gonna say that one more time. When you have a percentage that is greater than 100%, when you convert it into your decimal outside of your percentage, it should be a number greater than one. So 120% is 1.2 of implies multiplication and then $100. So I'm paying 1.2 times 100, which is 120. I'm paying $120. I'm paying the original amount plus the tip, which is $20. Now you can determine how much the tip is also by finding the difference between here and here. Um, but I like using this method because it's a bit faster. Um, let's do some taxes just to do tax. Then I might kind of, you know, do discount and tax on top of it, just to do a combination of the two. Um, taxes, I don't know. Let's buy, uh, we'll go and buy some pants. <laughs> I never really shop. It's funny that I'm just buying shirts and pants in these examples. But let's say these pants are, we'll make it $80. And the tax on these pants wherever you're located, I don't know. We'll make it 6% because I don't know where you are, but let's just make the tax on these pants 6%. So <clears throat> if I were paying 100%, right, of this, I would be paying the $80, but because I'm being taxed, I'm adding 6% to the original 100% that I would be paying. So I'm actually paying 106%. So the amount that I'm paying is 106% of the original $80. Why is it greater than 100%? Because I'm taking the 100%. I'm adding tax to it. I'm adding more than that. So what did I say before? I said that if I have a percentage that is greater than 100%, when it is converted into a decimal, it should be a decimal greater than one. 106% is 1.06 in decimal form move the digit two places to the left. Of implies multiplication, $80 is 80. Let's see, um, go to my calculator. 1.06 times 80 is 84.8. .8. So I am spending 84.80 .80 on these pants after tax, right? After tax. Now it makes sense that it should be greater than the original amount because of the fact that I am adding on to paying more than, and you can see that the tax, even though I didn't calculate the tax, if I take the difference of the two, the tax was $4 and 80 cents. I could determine that as well if I want using this method. Now let's combine the two. Um, what am I going to go to the store? I don't know. 
whatever, we'll do another shirt. <laughs> go to the store, I wanna buy a shirt. It's $52, I'll make it a weird number. But it's discounted, which is awesome. I love discounts. It's discounted 15%, but the tax, it's not a tax, I have to pay tax this time. It's not no tax day. The tax on it, we'll make it 6% again. I'm gonna combine this. Now, I'm gonna use the method that I've been using, but I have to do a combination of things. So let's start with 100% is what I would originally pay. 100% of $52 is $52, right? Now let's talk about the discount first. Let's start with the discount. Now, if it's a discount, I'm taking away, right? It's discounted, it's less than. I'm discounted 15%. So that means that I'm paying, oops, 85% before tax, right? Uh, hold on. I don't know why I can't reach it. So I'm paying this before tax. Before tax, right? But I wanna now add on the tax. So I'm discounted 15%, 85% is before tax, but tax is added on too, right? So now I have to add the tax, which is 6%. So 85% plus six, I'm actually paying 91% after the discount, including the tax. So when I go to the register, I know that I'm paying 91% of the original $52. 91% converted into a decimal is 0.91 of implies multiplication and 52 is 52. What is point, uh, point nine, point 0.91 times 52 is 47.32. I am paying $47 and 32 cents for this shirt that originally cost $52 and was discounted 15% with 6% tax. I can go to the register and say, I know that I'm paying $47.32. So let's say I have $50 in my pocket. I could afford that, I already know, okay? So hopefully this helps you with your percentage and stuff. And maybe you'll use it in real life. I mean, it's easy to do if you approach it this way. It's, a, it's much faster. So, all right.